Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome to the Cultural Classroom. My name is Alison Perryman, and I am the founder of the Cultural Classroom. Here at the Cultural Classroom, we focus on creating authentic resources for teachers to use and to facilitate the experience of creating authentic cultural experiences for students. Today, I'm going to be diving in to my new resource, which is getting to know Latinas just in time for Women's History Month. Um, this resource is inspired by so much and I just wanted to dive in to some aspects of it, how you can use it in class. And uh, before we get started, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you can. I love that, YouTube loves it. Did I mention I love it? <laughs> so please do take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it definitely helps out me, me on YouTube and everything like that. So without further ado, let's get started. What I love about this resource is that um, students are not simply decoding simple Spanish, they are also learning about some really powerful women. For example, if I skip down um, to one of the women that I featured, Elena Poniatowska, oh my gosh, her name just is forever etched into my mind. In 2017, I was at Middlebury working on my master's and she came to visit Middlebury for the centennial and um, everyone was so excited that she was coming and I have to admit, I didn't really know who she was. <laughs> um, but that doesn't mean anything because um, I just, just, I can't possibly know everybody under the sun. Um, so I didn't really know and then she uh, opened her mouth and she was, it was just very powerful. She was a writer, she was a journalist, she just, she traveled, she did so much. And so um, she just used her writing to um, invoke change and to document what was happening in society. And I, I just feel like, you know, people like this, we don't learn about enough in school and in class. And she is considered a feminist. She is considered someone who is on the cutting edge of things. And we should celebrate her, um, not with, I tried not to select people that, um, you know, there would be political leanings and things that would be um, um, disruptive to class. I tried to select people that were just, you know, almost 100%, you know, celebrated. <laughs> uh, so um, she is definitely someone who is like that. And so I'm very happy that I uh, got to see one of her conferences. I'm very happy that um, she met with my friends. Um, my friends got to, to meet with her, to speak with her, to talk with her, and she answered their questions. And so um, this was just an awesome moment in my life. Um, so uh, how can you use this project? This project you can use digitally. I will probably be using this project digitally. Um, I will probably be posting it online and have the students do an online gallery walk and then they will fill out their form and submit it online. Their form is actually this. It's a student worksheet and they will fill out information. They will decode information about each, uh, each Latina, each powerful Latina um, in this document. Now I tried to choose Latinas from all fields, from science, from TV, from um, periodismo, from um, fashion, from um, all sorts of fields. And so definitely a mix of people are in here. It's not really leaning one way or the other. Um, and I'm really happy about the final product for it. So uh, students should feel uh, represented and heard and um, they should feel that there is someone for them that they can kind of identify with, um, which I always try to strive for. Uh, you can also print out the slides and do an actual physical gallery walk in the classroom or maybe in the hallways or outside, weather permitting, if you're in a 
um, nice climate. Um, students can then uh, use a printout of this sheet, this student worksheet, uh, or they can take their computer or a tablet and fill out the worksheet. You can just add bubbles, text bubbles to it and type on it. And that's how they can modify the worksheet. So I'm just gonna take that off. Uh, lastly, you can, or if you can think of something else, you can convert it to a Pear Deck, or you can just leave it as is and present it to the class um, collectively to the students. And um, the students can modify their individual documents and hand it in. So I hope that you get some good use out of this uh, document. I am so excited to use it. I'm going to use it in conjunction with the uh, Women's uh, History Month, the Mix Musical for Latinas with a Latina twist. And I'm very excited. All right. Ciao. Un beso. Adios.